Hello everybody, this is going to be a very different video today. I'm talking about something I don't normally talk about on this channel. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the movie Ponyo. This is a very underrated film made by Studio Ghibli. If you're familiar with the world of anime, you would know who this is. It's directed by Hayao Miyazaki. I probably mispronounced his name. I'm not very good with pronouncing the names in the anime world. But this movie, to me, is one of the most beautiful movies ever made. And it helps me appreciate an art film. If somebody asks me what an art film is, I tell them movies like Blade Runner, Ghost in the Shell, or Ponyo. These films are works of art. They are movies that you don't particularly go to because they're box office hits. You don't go to them because they are immensely successful. You go into them because they took work. Everything from the voice work in this movie by Kate Blanchett, Liam Neeson, and the wide range of voices to the art that is showcased in this movie's animation, the soundtrack, and how adorable Ponyo looks throughout the course of this movie. Everything about this movie is very endearing, and I love it very much. The short version of this review is that if you have not seen Ponyo, go find it, pick it up, and watch it. It is a family-friendly, just masterpiece of an art film. For people that haven't seen very much anime, it might not be your thing, but for someone like me that loves art, that loves movies, that loves just a wonderful reimagining of stories that you would know, this movie kind of is a reimagining of the story of The Little Mermaid. It's given a different twist and it's given a really different eye of how the story is told, but it really harkens back to and reflects on the story of The Little Mermaid and tells it in a little different way. I really appreciate this movie. It was directed wonderfully by Hayao Miyazaki and the voice cast in here it took me until the second time of watching this movie before I was paying attention enough to recognize Liam Neeson's voice and Kate Blanchett's voice in this movie. I did not remember them being in this movie. I saw it years back for the first time, and I honestly didn't touch the movie again for years. And I saw it again recently, and I was just reminded how much this film blew me away when I first saw it. It is not a blockbuster. It is not a massive movie with a big budget. It doesn't have a lot of flair that the box office masterpieces have. But if you want an art film that is beautiful, that is engaging, that you can watch, and that you can think that it's just a wonderful world, and you can sit there and be thrilled by the visuals for the runtime of this movie, and if you can go to this movie and sit through the entire credits because the music is just so good, I love this movie very much. I love Ponyo. The only things I don't really like about Ponyo is that in some places the story doesn't seem very coherent. Sometimes it misses elements you think should be there. It, it, it confuses you a little bit. Some of the physics of this world as to how Ponyo matures and gets back to being who they're supposed to be. I'm not wanting to spoil anything in case someone hasn't seen this movie before, but there are some elements in this story that don't really make sense, but it's a fantasy world, it's a fantasy story, so you have to give it a little bit of leeway in that area. Just for this film's significance in my recent years, and just how beautiful this film is, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. Watch it if you have not seen it, and if you want to get into anime as a whole, this is a good movie to start with. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, everybody. I do appreciate you very much. This is my 50th video that will be going on my channel. I can't believe there's been 50 videos that are on this channel already. Thank you so much to everyone that's been with me since the beginning and that is new. I appreciate you all very much. Do feel free to check out my website and the links I have in the description down below. You guys are awesome. Remember, you matter, and I'll see you in my next review. As always, take care.